I mean, again, he, he doesn't know who Gabriel is, right? Because he didn't come from an Abrahamic faith. The people of Mecca were pagan. Quran is mentioned if this book was from other than God, they would have found in it many contradictions. If a book is without contradictions, that has no bearing on whether it comes from God or not. I've had phone books that are inerrant, but I certainly don't think God gave them. <laughs> that we believe without understanding. The brothers asked a very important question that most of the scholars say that listening to music, watching movies, and most of the television programs, they're haram. So how can we have fun? Let me tell you, brother, at the outset, that having fun is permitted in Islam as long as the fun is halal fun. <laughs> that the standard narrative has holes. The prophet tells us because Satan or the devil sleeps over our nostrils. Those who oversleep and not pray Fajr on time, Satan urinates in their ears. I really do think Jesus was crucified and that he really was dead and buried. He, he thought that he was a son of God in the sense that he was specially chosen by God. I think Jesus really did think he was going to be the Messiah, the future king of Israel. I mean, that is, after all, why they crucified him. Hello everyone and peace of Christ to all of you. I hope my voice is coming good and clear. Uh, please invite your friends. And as you see, we disabled the chat so we can be sure only those who care for knowledge and education, they are here, not people who they are seeking chat and, you know, um, mockery and inter entertainment. So you will notice that there is a huge number dropped in the, in the viewer. And this is in purpose is done, as you see, uh, because as I said, there's many here that are coming just for fun, and I don't want them. So today we have a video sent to me by uh, a, a dear brother from Pakistan, obviously. And uh, actually, I appreciate this gentleman work. <clears throat> uh, this is the channel of him. If you don't mind, please go and subscribe to this uh, brother. Uh, it's called Bible or Quran. Bible or Quran. And uh, the, the first thing you will notice about his videos uh, when he encountered the Abdul, uh, he do exactly as I always advise the Christians to do. Don't let them speak for 10 hours, give you 1,000 bupu, you know. Just corner them one by one. Don't let them escape. You notice how huge the difference between, like when uh, David Wood, you know David, uh, by the way, Sheikh Uthman, David Wood, he made you famous. Pakistani Christian, they make you falafel. They make you hummus. No, <clears throat> so when David would he go there suddenly they're talking about philosophy and garbage and stupidity I mean nothing there's not there's no debate in the debate you know just like you know giving each other hugs and how are you doing and you know give me five and give you five and you know kids here you see how those Christians they put this potato in the corner now the video is long you can watch it I have the link underneath actually so you can subscribe too and don't forget to do that because those people deserve your support. <clears throat> uh, so here they ask him a questions about, uh, you know, about Islam, and obviously he have no idea what to say. Uh, but the major question I saw in this video, I did not watch all of it. I didn't really have time for all of it. They ask him about a verse in the Quran, and obviously he do not even know how to write the verse. You need to see it so he can write it. And he claimed to be a sheikh. You see, he said that I am not a scholar, Okay, I'm not a hafiz, which means I don't memorize the Quran. Okay, so why you call yourself a sheikh? Who is who is the one who who gave you the title? <laughs> I mean, this guy he he, he clothes himself like an Arab because those are people who they are under the influence of the Arab. You know, we occupy them, we made them shish kebab, and we change their names, we change their clothes, we change their food, and we force them to to dress like us. And he called himself a sheikh, which is not even uh, uh, from his language. So why you call yourself sheikh if you don't even memorize the Quran? Isn't you Muslim, you say even kids memorize the Quran? Aren't you a kid? <laughs> you see that? I clarified about Pakistan. No, no, just, you told me that once I clarify this, you're going to let me talk about you. Okay, let's go a little bit, you know, because even the voice here is not good. So let us go. Uh, 
to more, more like uh, more clean stuff. So you mean like Khatila and Kutila, right? Yeah, just like Khatila and Kutila. Excellent. And then if you can tell me if that's the same thing or not. Excellent. And I will show it to the world. Now. All right. Okay. And is this a different thing or same? I got you. Relax. Well, j just okay. asking. Is it an yeah, yeah, go ahead. But I'm asking for, for just yeah. a yes and no. Yeah. Is it the same thing or different? I got you. Let me explain it you. now. You asked the question. Well, it's just a yes and no I question. I wrote it, and I, it is not a yes or no question. It's my answer that you want. I will answer <laughs> okay. it that I like. You will notice now after they speak, and this is my advice to the Christians. When you see that he need to explain, you know, he don't want to say yes or no. Obviously, he is trying to escape. The yes and no. You think about it right away. Why he's not giving yes and or no? I mean, he can explain. So next time you speak to this potato, tell him, you can explain the yes or no you say, whatever it is. No problem. But now he will speak for six minutes, seven minutes, 10 minutes, 30 minutes, and he will not give the answer. Because this is the whole point. He don't want to answer. It's embarrassment. So. If you want to say, okay, let me explain. I said, no problem, explain whichever of them. Either you say yes or it's no. Either you say it's the same, and then you say, explain why. Or you say, no, it's not the same, and then you explain why. But don't let him escape it. However, this guy, Potato Uthman, he made a big, huge poo, poo And we are going to use it for fertilizer as fertilizer for Islam. First thing, bring your, bring your print out. The that's one that you originally brought. No, no he didn't want to bring it. No, because right? I told you. Now, now it's I up here. Now it's I up here. Explain it now. Okay, I, 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 I got you. I got you. I told you. I'm going to show you from the Quran. Got you. Okay? No yeah. problem. Okay, yeah. First thing, the printout that you had, the reason I had you read it when you said fut, futila, right? And that's on video, is because you have no idea what the difference in Qur'at is. Right. What? That was not a warsh. Now, when you look at the warsh, recitation is the warsh. Is this what? This is what's right this here. Is this is what's half. Okay. Now you see the. Now this is important, right? You see the one dot on the fa that was in there, in there, in the printout, which you won't bring out. Show me your printout. So I can and this is the house that says Kutla. Okay. I got you. Hold on. Let me hold it. Right. Sure, sure. You don't mind. Can you can you bring me the printout that you have? Yeah, that's the the one. Okay. No. Okay, this is important now education. You have a we'll have yeah. A nice sure, sure. I got you. I got you. I'll show it to you from the Quran. I got you. But I want to clarify something that people didn't understand about the types of writing first and foremost, right? Uh -huh. But so there is a different types of writing. Of course, there are different types of writing. <laughs> so which means there are different types of Qurans. There are not different types of Quran. No, so writing, writing when you when you say these are recitations, right? Let me explain. Sure. And once I explain, then you can ask your question. Okay. Now here in this, you see, he has the, the talk with one dot. Here, even in the Warsh recitation, it has two dots, right? Let's look at the particular verse that you're And is the meaning same? The meaning is the same. And I meaning is the same? It is exactly the same. Are you sure? I got you. I got you. <laughs> it's exactly the same. Now, I will let him speak more so we can, you know, let him drop more poo, -poo. But the first point he said, the meaning is the same. Take a note. And this is in the minute 10 and 50 seconds. In this video 10 and 50 seconds take a note so the meaning is the same and uh, so what the difference then let us see go ahead with uh, man <laughs> yeah are you sure I am a hundred percent sure okay when I explain it okay you will be sure as well okay let me finish I thought you knew where look at my face look at my face what what's wrong with my face so Katila and Kutila is the no, same no, thing you're on, saying. Hold on. Yes, I will explain it. One is fight and one is kill. Can I explain? That's the Arabic dictionary. You're going I against explain? it. Yeah, yeah, go ahead. Can I speak now? Go ahead. If you don't mind. Sure, sure. Hold it? I got it. Okay. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Appreciate it. So now you look at their printout. This says Warsh. Now, can you ask him to let me speak and not interrupt? It's yeah. your friend, if you don't mind. Okay. He has Fa with one dot. Okay. And he says this is the Warsh. In the Warsh now that he has brought, there is a Qaf with two dots. And this is what I was trying to explain <laughs> to him, but he said, I don't want to know it. Right? And many of you message about the writing style, and this is what I already knew and I tried to explain, but he didn't listen. When I asked him to read this, he said, Fatal. Right? Which wouldn't even make sense. It says Qutila, 
and then he put a dot now. You see this? Addiction. Okay, so let me let me finish. Speaking. So you just I, sir, I understand. If you don't mind, let me finish. You but you're understand. talking that you're wasting Can time. I, it's that's his mistake, time. right? It's that's fine. Time. Talk about this is exactly what he's trying to do. Next time, I mean, this uh, this brother is doing a great job, <clears throat> but you need to remember always why the Muslim is not giving the answer. And then now, not none of this is important. Is it the same word? Qatila and Qutila? We need, we need the answer. Different style of writing? The Quran have different style of writing. I never heard of this before. You see, the writing like font, this is what, 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 uh, what this is mean. This is different font, but the font was not to change the words. <laughs> Since when? <laughs> what different style of writing? The different re reading, recitation, not different. <laughs> so this Abdul is like somebody in the circus, and he is the monkey in the middle, and he do not know what to do now. Like they are asking him to show his skills, and now his skills is not working. So is the word the same or not? And soon we will show you in the screen. What is the problem with this stupid verse in the Quran? No, about the hafs and the words. Let's talk about him. Look, Don't talk about him. Is he interrupting me or not? No, no. You're just talking about him, what he wrote. Question, you have to listen to my answer. It appears that you want to focus on I him in this paper as opposed to exactly. the difference within the Quran. Wallahi, so that's I the point swear by Allah, we'll get to it. Okay? If you just let me speak. I swear by Allah. The reason for that, and the reason I had him read it, and why this is such a mistake, this is not a warsh writing. This is a style of writing, the Andalusi style, which has a Mashriqi script and a Maghribi script. This would still be Qutila, and this would be Qatila with a Qaf. And that's why I want to clarify this for the people that are watching, that this gentleman, he downloaded this, not realizing that these are styles of writing. He tried to make it two different Quran. This is his first Okay, that's line. over. That's over now. That's over. I okay, got you. I all right. Got you. Now, when I wrote it, yeah. this is how I wrote it, right? Okay. I can read this Qutila or Qatila. No. Why? You cannot. I cannot. I cannot. Do you know the difference between a Zair and Zabr? <laughs> right? I know the difference between a Fatha Dhamma. Look at this coward. Look at this liar. And I want the Christians who they send me this video to listen carefully. Qatila and Qutila, the difference between them. Now he will try to say there is a, in the time of Uthman there was no Tashkil. But what does this have to do with Tashkil? You see those Muslims, the Mohammedan, they play games with, with, you know, they knew that you do not know Arabic. If we go to the stupid yellow pages of Muhammad, and we search for the verse, the exact one they are talking about. You will notice with me, this is not about Tashkil, you idiot. There is a letter, Qatala, there is an Alif. Which is, the, which is the Christians who they are speaking to him about it, they missed. They did not notice that this is not just Tashkir. Who cares about Tashkir? If you look with me here, let me highlight the letter for you, which one I'm talking about. I will zoom in more. And I will put a line under the letter, which is, is trying to deceive us as if it's not exist. This letter here, and then I will put the line underneath of it, is letter A, Alif, A. So now regardless of the Tashkil, Tashkil is just like you things you add in the top to make the sound. And this is something added to the Quran later because the Quran is very confusing and very stupid. So. Qatala mean they fight. Qutila mean they get killed. So how this is the same? And he tried to explain it saying this is different writing and he says, I can read it the same. You cannot because this is different words. Kill, you know, somebody killed is not the same as somebody he killed. I mean, do you see the stupidity? Do you see how he tried to deceive them? There's an alif, the word qatala, we, is, we write it like this, here we go. I will write the word qatala in front of your eyes. 
This is, let us switch to Arabic. This is Qatala. Do they look the same? No. Qatala mean he killed. Qatala mean Qutila Ashiri. The skill can make a difference absolutely here because Qatala can be uh, he killed. Qutila can be he got killed. You see how the huge little tashkil, so how the Quran can be trustworthy. In the same time here, the difference between them is not only the, 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 the things that added in the top, we have one letter is between them. So here we have to add the letter, this letter here, as it is exist here, and that will make it a new, totally new word. Qatala, he fought. Qutila, or Qatala. Qutila means he got killed. Uh, Qatala, he killed. Huge difference. So in either way, it's messed up. And he tried to make it, this is about, the valves and the addition in the top of the sound, but this is absolutely false. Uh, you know the, the Muhammadan they knew one thing for sure that the one they are speaking to maybe he have little knowledge of Arabic and, and, and the Uthman himself obviously he do not know Arabic uh, this is why he said the difference is Tashkil uh, either he knew a little bit or he is a donkey claiming that he knew or he knew and he is lying which one of them you choose but Qatala and this is the translation this is the Muslim translation, fought, fought. So there's a huge difference between fought and killed. So many people with him get killed and many people with him fought. Which one is a huge difference? They get killed or they fought? <laughs> but I will give you a treat. You can watch the rest of the video and the link is down there. But I want this, uh, those brothers from, uh, from this channel, who they are doing a great job, and I ask you all to, to, to uh, subscribe to them. You know, they have just 800, I don't know why. You know, this is different, different between Christians and Muslims. Christian, they support nobody, sadly. Muslim, they swarm a channel. Like, you know, this guy is nobody. He is an innocent idiot, as you see. He don't even remember a verse in the Quran. You cannot even write it without reading, seeing it in the screen, in front of him, in the, in the, open the verse for me. They open the verse for him so he can write it. Even if they read the verse for him, he cannot write it. Still, he will have the huge number of subscribers to his channel from a Christian channel. Why? Because Muslim, they swarm supporting each other. Christians, eh, they don't care. They are relaxed people. You know? This is why I don't want them no more. I want just serious people to come here. We ask them just at least, you know, get a 20,000 view. They can't even do that. They can't even share a link. I'm done with those people. Those are the real ones. Those are the real warriors who go, who go and get them busted. Now, after talking for all this time, 54 minute video. This potato, he did not answer the question. Okay, but you don't. just said you're not a scholar. Now you tell me this. Okay, you, you, okay, so here's the thing. If, listen, okay. let me speak. Let no, me no, speak. no, 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 I didn't he finish it. My explanation. I, I didn't finish it because you just said you can read that. I'm not done. Let me finish. Let me finish about Warsh and Haf that you asked. Okay, if read that. You asked. Let me finish. Okay, go ahead. Please don't interrupt. No, no, go ahead, go ahead. Thank you. All right. You don't have to be a scholar to know Zair Zabar Pesh. Okay. Little children that learn how to read, read okay. it. When okay. When the Quran was revealed, there was no such thing as Zair Zabar, which you may not have realized. There was no such thing as Fatah Kasra Damma in the Arabic language when the Quran was revealed. So it's it just came in the one language? No, but you're just. Please let me speak. Then you. Uh, when... <laughs> no, let me speak, please. <laughs> let me speak. <laughs> And you know, as long as there is no fatha, no dhamma, no etc. So how you know the difference between qatala and qutila? And you know, this is why we have different recitation. But anyway, I want to give those Christians in this channel a retreat. Next time you see this potato, I want you to make him shish kebab as a gift from me to you. There is a verse 
I will give you a verse from time to time. You know, just a, a treat for you. There's a verse in the Quran which is famous. Now remember, please, don't let him explain. Don't let him explain. Explain later, after you give the answer. I never heard of somebody who need to explain, but he will not answer. He explained what? Next time you see this potato or any potato, ask him. The verse in the Quran, chapter 36, verse number 38. 36. Verse number 38. It says here in Arabic, وَالشَّمْسُ تَجْرِي لِمُسْتَقَرِّنْ لَهَا Translation by Muslims, and the sun runs into, uh, and the sun runs his course. Sun run his course. The sun is his now. It's the strangest idiot. Maybe we can find a better, easy to read. And the sun runs on its fixed course. I mean, it's very simple, right? So now, do you think it's going to make a difference if the verse saying, and the sun does not run to its fixed course? For sure, right? There's a huge, the opposite. So the verse here is saying, chapter 36, verse number 38, the sun runs onto a fixed course. For a term appointed. Guess what? There is different reading. It says that the sun does not run into its fixed course. Which means, here before, this word, there is a letter which is in Arabic, la. Well, shamsu la tajri. La tajri, which means it does not go in a fixed course does not run. Is that the same too? So chapter 3, verse number 146, there's a huge difference between Qatala and Qutila. This is not Tashkil. This guy, this guy is a donkey. Next time you see him, you say you eat it. There's an alif. There's an alif. Alif means there's a letter. And here we have two letters different. We'll change the course in the opposite direction. There's many websites. Muslim website. They show you the, you know, like how they are different. As an example here, if we go uh, let us see 146 where it is. Here we go. <clears throat> oh, Lord have mercy. You know the stupidity. If you see with me here, this guy he was talking about different style of writing. This is not about different style of writing. There is a letter here. This is a, like art of writing, let us say. So they made the alif small. Do you see it? Little tiny alif. Let us let me let me make a alif. is like number one. This is alif. It looks like number one. So this one here. This little tiny thing is a letter. In art, they make it small. But this is not the skill. This is not a wolf. This is a letter. So when he was explaining that in the time of Uthman, there was not a skill, which means there's no qutila, qatila, kasra, fatha, dhamma. There is no additional to the word. It's so it doesn't say that. Still, there is a letter here in this recitation. And the, 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 the reading is totally different. Now we go. We go to the other verse, which we just mentioned to you. Chapter 30, X, verse number 38. And you know what? I know that most of you do not speak in, you know, uh, Arabic. So what we will use, because this should appear in many interpretations, 
including the Nika theory. So I will try to see it in the Nika theory in English to see if we can find it in English. And actually, I, I did that already. And I was surprised because usually in Nika theory interpretation, when they translate, they hide the poopoo of Islam. So chapter 36, verse number 38, Ibn Kathir. We go here. This is 36. And this is 38. All right. I want people to re read and love. Disaster. Oh, where is the reverse? Thirty six, thirty six. Okay. Here in Arabic it says, "Was shams wa tajriri mustaqarin laha," and the sun ran to its course. So very simple. If we go down in Ibn Kathir a little bit, you will see a different reading. What is that? The sun does not run to its course. Like, what the heck? What the heck? Which means does not have a fixed course. Read with me carefully and laugh. <laughs> and the sun runs with no fixed course of for for a term, meaning no has no destination and it does not settle on one place. It keeps moving. But in the other reading, it says the opposite, and the sun runs into a fixed course <laughs> so both cannot be correct it's impossible because one saying the sun does not run to its fixed course as you see does not as she, the sun has no fixed course Meaning, it has no destination and it does not settle in one place. It keeps moving night and day, never showing, slowing down or stopping as this ayah. Then, in its fixed course, for a term appointed meaning, it has an appointed time and it will not go beyond that. And it's also say this is mean it keep moving it in its summer orbit and a certain time and it does not exceed that. So here we have what the difference between the two verses. Just two letters. Here we have this. La. La in Arabic mean no. It doesn't. So this la this appear in the other verse. And what is added in the other verse, li, which is another letter, they added to the word here, which li in Arabic mean two. Li is equal to two in English. So they added the word, the letter L, which make it the sun run to a course, fixed course. So in this verse, this letter here, L, let me type it for you in English, L. Make it capital letter, L. This letter, which is exists in the other verse, in this location, 
in the beginning of this world here, but we don't see it here, it disappeared. This is in the other verse. Actually, let me take a screenshot. Let me open the verse. And put them together so we can compare in an easier way. Okay, we took a screenshot. We will open it and put it next to the other one. So we can compare between them, and then you see why this is a big, big, a huge difference. And Islam is just a joke, you know. I mean, this Muhammad, uh, he came with this like uh, in different reading to cover his ass because he keeps reciting the Quran differently. He cannot remember what he just said yesterday. As simple as that. So this is the difference between them. This is the letter which we cannot find in this reading. In this reading, here, this letter is gone. The first letter, you notice it? Which is equal to let, or tool in, in English, letter two, or saying two as a tool. Li mean two. Ashamsu tajridi mustaqarrin laha, the sun runs to a rest place, not course actually. Mustaqar is a rest place. And here you notice that this word is totally disappeared. We cannot find it here. which mean it doesn't do you see how a huge difference is so one verse one reading saying and the sun run to its course the other verse saying or other reading saying and the sun does not run to a rest place or the other course is that is that a mistake <laughs> And now they will say it doesn't say that, CP. A Christian prince is lying. This is a Mikathir. And this is the reading here of Ibn Mas'ud. Ibn Mas'ud. Is the one who Muhammad he hire for the Quran so how he can be wrong so in Ibn Mas'ud Quran it says and the sun does not run into a course and in Hafs Quran or other Quran there is many of them potatoes, tomatoes, you know shish kebab, hummus it says the sun, you know, run into a course. So here they cannot play the game of saying, oh, it's the same. And the other one is not the same because qatala is not the same as qutila or, uh, 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 you know, qatala is somebody he is fighting, fire, fought. And some, uh, qutila is somebody got killed. And qatala is somebody is uh, killed somebody. So there's a huge difference, three meanings. But the other verse, there is a letter. He's trying to play the game of style of writing. That's stupid of him to say. But what he can do with this one? He can say, it doesn't say that, CP. I hope so. <laughs> so I want to encourage you. I'm not going to keep you longer. I encourage you to subscribe to those brothers there. Support them. You know, I like their style. They are, you know, they are doing what I'm asking for, actually. Not like David Wood, he give, he give us a speech about philosophers. 
let us talk about philosophy. Him and Anthony Roger, they went there and they start talking about philosophy. And the guy, he got famous because three Christians, they come to me. And what is the debate? There's no debate. So why you went there? And then after we come back home, we want to get him busted. Why you don't get busted when he is, he, you, you were there? You don't get him busted later. Those people here, they got him busted. He do not know even how to recite the Quran. He do not know even how to write the Quran. He do not know even how to write a word in the Quran. They have to show him the book. Watch the video. They have to show him the book so he can write it as a copy paste. And yet the potato, he claimed to be a sheikh. And then he tried to answer it by saying, the difference between them is just a skill. It's just dots. And you know, <laughs> when the difference is a letter, qatala, qatala is a word have a letter alif you idiot and it's not the same qatala mean he fought qutila mean he got killed there's a huge difference and you can open ibn kathir i mean what's wrong with those people and you call yourself a sheikh you do who gave you the title a person, he cannot write a verse from the Quran. He cannot write a word from the Quran without looking at the Quran. So he tried to copy it. And when he wrote it, look funny. Actually, if you look in the video, anyone who speaks Arabic, he will ask himself, is that Arabic? Now remember, people in Pakistan, they are, you know, they use uh, like uh, Arabic letters already. So it should be easy for him just to write, type it down. Don't let him explain before he answer. This is my advice. Sneaky snake. Sneaky snake is their game. So we will spend two hours explaining the answer, but there's no answer yet. After 54 minutes, he did not give the answer. Oh, what he said, oh, this is the same. And just there is the, the different is tashkil and there's different style of writing. If this is true, then it should not be having different meaning. But there is different meaning. Even if we go to their own Islamic interpretation, actually we should do that so we can get him more busted. You know, when you are a liar, you can lie as much as you wish. And once then they support each other, doesn't matter if you are lying or not. They knew they are lying. He said it's the same. Read and laugh. This is Ibn Kathir. Is Qatala is the same as Qutila? This is Qutila. Qutila got killed. Qatala, he, he killed. So from, the, from being the victim, suddenly you are the criminal. So Qatala or Qutila? And then Ibn Kathir, he continues saying here. Let us see what is the verse. Huh. Actually, let us do this as long as we are here, even as like I'm, I'm not planning to stay longer, but it's okay, you know. Let us show you something else. Let us give you a treat. More a treat additional to the one we gave you already. <clears throat> this is Tafsir Al-Qurtubi. This is Tafsir al qurtubi and this is the official government of the website of Saudi Arabia. Next time you go to this potato, but he doesn't know how to read it anyway. And the one who is speaking to him sadly do not know how to read it anyway. So we have to do it here. But you can use it. If you go to al qurtubi you will see al qurtubi he agree that there is different or, you know, recitation. It says here, 
قال أبو جعفر اختلفت اختلفت القراءة في قراءة قوله قتل قتل نط قتل هذا ما تشكيل بس I can make it as I wish قتل معه ربيون كثير you know, like too many of those people كثير so he is saying one of the reading is قتل the other reading is قتل قتل mean they killed قتل mean they got killed and then he said an other group they did read it with the qaf which means the first letter with the fatha qatala which means they killed and then he continues saying but abu jafar he said the one who read qatala qatala he chose that and qatala mean he fought because if they get killed so why they will say fama wahinu so he's saying if they get killed but they get not tired so they get killed and they are not getting tired from getting killed doesn't make sense so abu jafar saying that the reading of qatala is wrong <laughs> because the verse saying those who did if, if it's mean get killed then it says, but they did not get tired. So somebody is dead and he did not get tired yet. This is what he's saying. And this is why we choose the word uh, So the Muslims, they agree that the reading is different between Qatala and Qutila and the meaning is different. And they, this is not about Tashkil. See this donkey, he starts to trying to make it about Tashkil, says the Fatha and Dhamma and etc. Donkey, certified idiot. The reason they choose this reading because it match more with the rest of the verse where it says, Fama Wahinu, which means they did not get tired. So because if they get killed and then you say, but they didn't get tired, that means they are still alive. But if we say Qatala, which means they fought with him and they did not get tired, that means they are still alive. So when this guy, he tried to fix it, he make it more blind. And here he says, Other reading is, Qutila ma'hu rubbiyin. Qutila mean he got, many of them get killed. But how they get killed and they did not get weak or tired. <laughs> so there is a huge meaning in the different. Very, very big, a huge different. I will post the link for you. Ah, I cannot post it here. I have to post it in the in the chat later. This is Ibn Kathir. You can go here, very easy. You can go to Ibn Kathir. This is the website of the Kingdom of Jordan, of, of Saudi Arabia. Hmm? And you notice here with me, sorry, not, sorry, not, not Ibn Kathir, Al-Qurtubi. Uh, Al-Tabari, Al-Tabari, sorry, Al-Tabari. This is the, the Kingdom of, of uh, Saudi Arabia. This is the Ministry of Islam. And this is Tafsir al-Tabari, page number 68, as you see. You can go to the website and you can read by your own. And you do not need really to know Arabic. You can use Google Translation as usual. Let us do it. And you will see that this guy is a big fat liar. See here, with the wolf of the Aleph. There's Aleph, you idiot. Aleph. And actually, this translation is wrong. There's no volve here, or volve. Uh, uh, Aleph is a letter. Aleph. It's not a dhamma or fatha. Aleph. So they were killed with him. Another group, they read it al-fatiha with al-qaf, which means the letter qa, qa. And with Aleph, 
Qatala. Group recitation of Hijaz and Kufa. Abu Jafar said, as for the one who recited Qatala, this is not Tashkil, this is a letter, as you see here, the letter A. This is the letter A we're talking about. Qatala, he chose that because it says if they were killed, he would not have said, which means in the verse, so they were not weak. So because if they are killed, how they will get weak? How they will get tired? They're killed already. So he is confirming that it must be they are speaking about people who are still alive. So it cannot be they get killed. It can. It must be qatala, which mean they fought. So the Muslim they change the reading of the Quran because it doesn't make sense if we make it qatila. This is what Abu Jafar saying. They choose that. The one who read it this way, he chose that. He chose, it's, it's a choice. I thought this is the word of God. You don't choose. The potato, he said, it have the same meaning, the coward. But there's a huge difference between get killed and fought. Abu Jafar said, the first of the two recitation in that which is correct, which is correct, remember, <laughs> for us, is the recitation with the one who recite with the addition of al qaf killed with many rabbi, rabbis, or like, you know, uh, believers, people of God, killed. Which means he don't agree with the other recitation. But the recitation which Uthman he read is the wrong one then. <laughs> he said it's the same. <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> What a donkey. What a big poo poo. Don't talk, don't talk like, like you're like Muhammad, you know what I mean? Uh, okay. So you don't know what to say. Tell them I need to study it. Give me time. And you know, the funny, this, uh, this uh, uh, Christian brother from Pakistan, he asked him the same question many times before, and the guy, he ran away. So now he prepared himself for the question because the new, he knew the question would be asked again. Because he refused, I saw another video, he refused even to write the verse. He said, I'm busy, I'm busy now. <laughs> so, here you see that Abu Jafar rejecting this recitation here, because this one says they fought. He is saying the first of two recitation is what is which is correct for us recitation of the one who recited with the addition of al-qaf etc let us go to the uh, the arabic uh, page because sometimes the translation in into english can can be funny go ahead let's read in arabic what a dummy cult In the reading of Asim, it says, many of those, uh, uh, the prophet, many killed with them. Many killed with them. Okay. Some, they say, you see the numbers, you can go always by the numbers. The one we highlight, you can go, you can see the number. So, قَاتَلَ مَعُهُ رُبِّيُّونَ كَثِيرٌ this is from Ibn Abbas. Ibn Abbas, he says, Qatala, they fought. And you can read from 79-62. Then, <clears throat> according to Asim, and Zir, and Abdullah, it says, كَأَيْنَ مِنْ نَبِيٍ قُتِلَ مَعَهُ They got killed. So here they, got, they, they fought. 
here they get killed it's not the same it's not that it's, it's not a vault as the coward he said and then he continued because there's many differences from Sa'id ibn, ibn Jubayr and ibn Abbas وكأين من نبي قتل معه Rubin get killed and he kept repeating the same thing and he is showing you all the reference but let us, so the, let us go to the point where this guy here in English we were reading for you Abu Jafar he said the first to recitation where is Abu Jafar in the search for Abu Jafar how are you doing Abu Jafar all of them they are Abu All of them, brother. There's no um. So this is Abu Jafar, Mr. Abu Jafar. In the beginning, he is saying there's a huge difference. And now he is saying why he did not accept that one. Because it is impossible to be described that they are not getting tired. And they are not getting weak after they get killed. So he's saying... So the one who chose this recitation, Qatala, because it fit more with the second part of the verse. And this is what it says here in English. This is why they choose it. So this is not different style of writing, you coward. This is totally huge difference between get killed and they fought. And again, we give you another example of the Quran where Muhammad, he speak about, uh, you know, uh, the sun uh, set in or rest. One verse saying the sun never, never rest and the other verse saying the sun rest. Which one of them is the true? So, you know, you can read, actually. I'm going to post this link underneath of the video after we finish the chat. I will post, actually, all the reference for you all. I will post Ibn Kathir, where it says clearly that there's a huge difference between the sun run into a, a fixed course. In the, same chat, in the same page of Ibn Kathir, it says, and the sun does not run into a fixed course. Which one of them is a huge difference? This is not about different reading. As uh, like you know, he, he say different dialect. I mean, this is stupid. What dialect? It's still the same dialect. It's still still the same dialect. But obviously, this idiot Muhammad, he cannot recite the same verse twice. He repeat himself, but he cannot repeat himself, which means he repeat himself saying the verses. And when he they got him busted, if you remember, there's a story of two companion. They were fighting because. They have different recitation of the Quran. So they never heard of this before. So they went to Muhammad and they told him, well, this guy is reading it different. So Muhammad told him, read it. The guy, he did read. He said to him, you are right. He asked the other guy, read it. The other guy read differently. He says, you are right too, because the Quran sent to me in seven ways. So Muhammad the coward, he read the Quran in the front of a person different from he read it in different, to different person, because he did not want to agree that he is a fraud. And he is reciting it wrongly, and he is skipping words and adding words. So he claimed that Allah He gave him seven Quran. I mean, how who in the world will believe this? I mean, uh, uh, if if the Muslim will not accept the Quran or will not understand the Quran unless it is seven, well, now it's but because it's seven, it's more confusing. So if the purpose was to fix it and make it easier. It's not any more easier. It's more confusing. And why in the world a God, he want to send the Quran in one recitation and then his prophet keep asking him for more recitation? What does that mean? Muhammad is correcting Allah. This is why, if you remember when, uh, when uh, what's his name? Uh, Yasser Qadi. He said there is holes in the narrative, or the narrative has holes. He was talking about that. He was saying that the most well-known companion of Muhammad, he have adopted about Islam because of this specifically. 
the holes in the narratives is coming from there. Because this is really stupid. It's turned the Quran upside down. So is it the same to say he will get killed and or they killed? It's a different, a huge difference between being killed and, and you killed. Is it the same to say they fought or get killed? There's a huge difference between they fought and get killed. Is it the same to say that the sun ran to its course or the sun does not run to its course? As we showed you in Ibn Kathir here. Which one? It's the opposite. It is the opposite, totally the opposite. This is not a different reading no more about like, you know, saying different dialect. This is totally different meaning and we'll switch it the opposite way. One reading saying the sun run to its fixed course, لِمُسْتَقَرٍ لَهَا and the other one saying no, and the sun with no fixed course. Is that just different reading? Or totally the opposite meaning? I will leave that decision for you. Leave your comment, I will post those links for you in the, in the comment there uh, after we finish. And if you are a person who don't have time to post a comment, don't come here again. I don't want to see you. If you are a person who is coming here for chat, no more chat, get lost. This is not entertainment place. Here we spend our life teaching. We pay our blood teaching. This is not an entertainment. When Abdul, he fool your son and he make him convert to Islam, come to me and tell me I was laughing. We are saving your kids here from the lies of those deceivers. This is not just a YouTube channel. It is not. And I don't care for the viewers. We want real people. Our education for free. For those who want to be free, Islam is religion of slavery. They want to enslave you by the cult of the pagan, satanic Muhammad. A prophet, he cannot even maintain his own words. The sun runs its course, the sun does not run its course. How this can be a prophet of God, and how God can change his recitation, and why he oppose himself. And the funny is, this guy, he said, if you find me one contradiction in the Quran, I will leave Islam. I will leave that for the brothers who meet him in San Diego. So they can give, get him busted in the second occasion they confront him. Thank you very much for being here. I hope we have a good time together. And the good time here is a good time of education. The Bible says, the Lord speak, teaching wisdom saying, my people get destroyed because of their ignorance. So my friend, we are here to fight ignorance. Don't let ignorance destroy you. Ignorance is our enemy. It's not even the Muslims. Muslims are victims. There are some people, they deceive, you know, they are doing a business. But the majority of them, they are just victims of the deception. Thank you for being with us. Until we see you again, Christ is Lord. Islam is a scam, and we prove it every day. Take care. I mean, again, he, he doesn't know who Gabriel is, right? Because he didn't come from an Abrahamic faith. The people of Mecca were pagan. The Quran is mentioned, if this book was from other than God, they would have found in it many contradictions. If a book is without contradictions, that has no bearing on whether it comes from God or not. I've had phone books that are inerrant, but I certainly don't think God gave them. <laughs> that we believe without understanding. The brothers asked a very important question that most of the scholars say that listening to music, watching movies, and most of the television programs, they're haram. So how can we have fun? Let me tell you, brother, at the outset, that having fun is permitted in Islam as long as the fun 
is halal fat. <laughs> that the standard narrative has holes. The prophet That's tells us because Satan or the devil sleeps over our nostrils. Those who oversleep and not pray Fajr on time, Satan urinates in their ears. I really do think Jesus was crucified <laughs> and that he really was dead and buried. He, he thought that he was a son of God in the sense that he was specially chosen by God. I think Jesus really did think he was going to be the Messiah, the future king of Israel. I mean, that is, after all, why they crucified him. 